and good evening. The loose dog problem in South Dallas has been described as a crisis that deserves immediate attention. Yeah, but the wheels of progress turn very slowly at City Hall sometimes. Today we found out the plan will cost much more than expected, and the city manager has some concerns about one major part of the plan. First here on Fox 4 News at 6, Lori Brown is live at Dallas Animal Services with more. Lori. Heather, unlike a lot of large cities, Dallas Animal Services is not its own department. While consultants believe that is a major step to providing more accountability and solving Dallas's dog crisis, today the city manager revealed he disagrees. 1,524 people were bitten by dogs last year in Dallas. One of them, North Oak Cliff resident Charlie Howell. And I ended up getting bitten four times. Today, we saw all of those written bite reports were placed in piles in a large storage bin with Dallas Animal Services with no electronic records to help the city grasp how bad the problem was getting. That is maddening to me. Peter Bronski, chair of the Dallas Animal Commission, says record keeping is one of the many problems that DAS needs to solve. There's no reason for a paper system in today's day and age. After telling all of the bite cards, consultants learned dog bites have been increasing up 15% since 2013. To get a handle on the estimated 9,000 loose dogs in South Dallas alone, the consultants recommend making DAS its own department. There are just so many layers of accountability that it's very difficult to know who to hold responsible for what. Um, and it's very difficult to know who's in charge of what. But city manager AC Gonzalez says moving DAS out of co-compliance may be too costly. Not ready to embrace an additional department at this time. I know, but you, you love... <laughs> This is the first time ever that Mr. Gonzalez has said he doesn't want to add to the hierarchy at the Dallas City Hall. And this is the one time that we need to add to it because we got a consulting group. Councilman Scott Griggs made a tongue in cheek point about why he thinks a separate department is needed. Are you going to tell Joey to tell Chris to tell Jody? We need to increase field take. Hal sat in the same room one year ago after his attack. Over the last year, we've seen things just get worse. He hopes this time will be different because four people getting attacked by dogs a day. That's not acceptable for a, a city with bridges as pretty as ours. Councilmember Gates told me that she is researching an amendment to provide an additional $2.7 million in funding for Dallas Animal Services. That is up from the $1.5 million funding increase in the budget right now. City Manager AC Gonzalez says he will report back to City Council with his plan in 30 days. Heather. All right, Lori Brown, live tonight. Thank you.